hey what's up welcome back to yaddy hearts books my name is yaddy and in today's video i've got a book haul um i've collected for these the past few months i think i started in summer like the end of summer i don't know but yeah i have a book haul i have 10 books don't know how this happened actually i do kind of know <laughs> anyways uh yeah let's just hop right into it let's start with it's in no particular order i don't remember in what order i bought these so it's no particular order so let's just start at the top of the pile so we got so by the night by bridget Kemner. um this is the first book in a new series i'm not sure what the name of the series is but um i've read her a curse of dark and lonely trilogy that's now getting a spin-off series with one of the characters in that series one of the like minor characters in that series so um yeah i love that uh so i decided to pick this up this is basically um fantasy first off and and what is happening is that there's like this disease going around should i say disease some sort of plague <laughs> yeah there's some sort of disease going around and um, there is a cure for it and it comes from this flower, but there's not a lot of it's not a lot of it and the only people who can really afford to get the um, To get this cure it are the rich people. So our main character She goes out in the night and she's it's like working with this guy Which she doesn't know his identity of and she's working with him to steal I think it's called moonflower yeah, it's called Moonflower to steal, uh, to steal Moonflower um, so they could distribute it out to the people um, who can't afford the cure. So yeah, um, I'm very excited and intrigued to get into this. Um, not sure when I'm going to get to it. I wanted to read it this year, but that's not going to happen at this point. Um, yeah, so I ended up getting the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. So this has... Um, I'm not sure this is exclusive to Barnes and Noble, but it has like these end papers, and then what the like beautifulness comes in is um, when you take off the dust jacket, and you have like this detailing here, and I think it has some exclusive. Oh, it ha includes um, special content, which I think it's like in the back of the book. I'm not sure exactly what it is, like an extra chapter, or yeah, it seems like it's like an extra chapter. So that's the first book. This next book I picked up because one, it got dropped into the movie. Um, and two, I wasn't planning on reading this, but um, I decided with my friend Carleni that would be fun um, to read this and be confused together. And that book is Dune by Frank Herbert. Sci-fi. Honestly, don't know too, too much about what this is about. I'm sure you guys know what this is about i'm gonna link links to all these books down below um but uh yeah don't really know much about it but i'm intrigued and i'm excited to be confused and i know what's happening and be confused with my friend harlani so there's that this next book i'm not sure if i if i've already hold um but let's just go with it so these violent delights by chloe gong this is the first book in the These Five and the Lights duology. And um, this is set in 1920s Shanghai. And this is a Romeo and Juliet retelling. Um, this is very heavy on the violence, light on the romance. So um, if you haven't read this but you're interested in reading it, just know that going into it. That heavy on the violence, light on the romance. But I'm excited to get to this because most people didn't like this because it like I said, it was late on the romance and it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling, but I'm like, I have a feeling that I might like it because it's lighter on the romance, heavier on the violence. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm excited to get to this. The next book I have is The Party Crasher by Sophie Cantella. This is um, Sophie Cantella's latest release. You guys don't know, um, Sophie Cantella's an autobi author for me. Lately, all of her books have been hit or miss for me. Like there's certain books that I really enjoy that she's really released recently and some that I have not. Like her last book, um, Love Your Life. Um, I just hit myself. Um, 
love your life did not like that not good <laughs> um i'll link up here um because i did a reading vlog for it so I'll link it up here so you guys can check it out um but what the party cost is about i'm not exactly sure first off it follows uh main character effie i think they pronounce it um and from what i can remember i think they're selling their house or something i don't remember i just know that she ends up having to crash a party <laughs> Um, to try and get something that's in that house in the house don't know much about it but like i said i'll link like in down below she's an auto buy author for me so i don't really look too much into what her books are about before i read them um the next book i have is into the blood red woods by martha brocken bra um yep yeah. so this book is fantasy young adult fantasy it focuses on these uh, on two main characters i'm not sure who exactly we follow but it's two main characters they're twins and um they are a princess and a prince and <clears throat> they get their um i guess like once the king dies or whatever um they the king leaves them each half of the kingdom to rule but the prince will say no i want the whole thing so basically what he did was he invaded his sister's part of the land and took control over it but now the our main character um i think it's like years down the line she decides to take back her kingdom but not just her half the whole thing so yeah i'm super excited to get into this i'm pretty sure this is a standalone and it's not that long so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get into this at some point, not sure when. The next book I have is The City of Brass by S.A. Um, Shakabordi. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but this is an adult fantasy. And I'm trying to get more into adult fantasies. And I've been wanting to read this series for a while, at least like um, read the first book. For a while, pretty much since it first came out. And now the whole series is out in, in paperback. Like, it's been a while. Um, so for this one, again, don't know much about it. Because I haven't really looked into the synopsis again since like the this book first came out. Um, but again, I'll link it down below if you guys could check it out. I'm not really sure what it's about. So there's that. Then, because the movie is coming out. I got this book the movie's already out by the time i'm filming this so yeah so that's the hating game by sally thorne yes this is about these two main characters lucy and joshua um and basically i think i might be getting two books confused but pretty much <laughs> they are going after the same job so like they hate each and then they, they already like did not like each other but then it turns kind of romancy and smutty <laughs> i think yeah i think they already started off um not liking each other but now that they're like competing for the same job they like each other even less but then but then but then a romance starts to brew so yeah um, I'm excited to get to this. I was thinking maybe I'm reading this on like on New Year's Eve or day. I'm not sure and then watching the movie after because the book is not that long. The font is kind of On the smaller side. I don't know. We'll see what happens Um, Then I got I am not I am not your perfect Mexican daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. Um, don't know a lot about what this is about. Okay, so I'll just read this little part because I think it gives you a little bit of what it's about. So it just says, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Um, a poignant and laugh out loud funny story about losing a sister and fighting yourself. Yeah. So she, I guess she, the main character, loses her sister and. Um, it goes on her 
journey our the main character's journey on trying to find herself yep i think that word was poignant i don't know poignant poignant that was close enough whatever um next book i have is where there's a whisk and it's by sarah j schmidt i think <laughs> um so what i know about this contemporary and there is a reality show competition of cooking that's pretty much all i know about it yeah reality show competition for cooking all i really know but i was just like i'll give this a try um and then the last book that i have here is a highly i don't know what that was highly anticipated book been waiting for it for so long and that is gilded by marissa meyer um this is the first book in a new series by marissa meyer i think it's just called the gilded series i'm not exactly sure but this is a rumpelstiltskin retelling i haven't read any rumple rumpelstiltskin retelling but i'm super excited to get to this marissa meyer knows how to do a good fairy tale retelling so i'm super excited to get to this yes i'm super excited like you don't even know i think i'm gonna start off the new year reading good so, yep yeah. um i think that's all you really need to know about what this is about that's all really what i know is that it's a rumble so it's gonna retelling i'm super excited about it marissa meyer like i said marissa meyer really knows how to do a retelling so yes okay um that is it those are all the books that i purchased in the last few months please let me know if you have read any of these books or um and what you thought about it without spoilers and or if you plan on reading any of these anytime soon so yeah um that is all that i have for you guys today well i'm filming another video after this Ooh. after this but but right now, this is all I have for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys here next time on Yeti Hearts Books. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe if you want. It might be fun. I don't know. Um, and all of my social media links will be down below in the description box. And I'll catch you guys here next time. I already said that. All right, bye. <laughs>